thief! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! Okay, maybe I didn't win, but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, hey there, llama. Come here, girl. Good llama. That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I told you I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Seems like 
like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kinda... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Uh, uh. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks, portal keys, why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh! Get off the pyramid, quick! sound coming from down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Uh, on second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that... that heck mouth. Well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's... uh... It's been... not great. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... 
She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. As a classy mineshaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. That is one shiny skyscraper. Flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. So why don't they leave, then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb, like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Nice day. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Ugh. 
Here's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon toddlers. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, oh she matches your outfit. Ooh. You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> and, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, Way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh, no. How are we going to get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Well, oh, easy puppies. See? You like bones, right?
This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on... Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! It feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there, I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Oh, stupid cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Ah! So good to have you back.
Oh no you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. We're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm I, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. <sighs> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. 
The Air Titans of the East call me He Who Slashes Like Thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. <sighs> cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> oh, uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? Uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, we don't need you to bring us. We don't need your protection. We'll be fine. And I believe that. I'm just telling you, it's not that simple. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, 
I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident? Hmm. Huh. I didn't know you villagers went on adventures. Yeah, most don't. <laughs> you know, I remember when we first met, we had, uh, well, that's another story for another day. All you gotta know is there's no one else I'd rather have by my side. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists. Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework Radar. Union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Radar. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Radar! Why did my factory... Ah! Sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. <laughs> Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, I mean, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say, I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends.
Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guy's loss, my gain. It's Tim! Hey, everybody! Tim is here! Woo! Uh, excuse me, Tim? Long story, tell you later. Fine. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, Let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. 